be great, baby. It's gonna be great.
Yes, yes, sir. If you think that you left anything on the field, you have messed up. Hold your head up high after the night, and I promise you, it'll be the proudest moment of your life. You got me? Yes, sir. Get hyped. Let's go.
even though he didn't see me coming, it was just a blind shot right there.
today. A year ago, we sat at this table in, in pain and, and losing a state championship game. And we vowed to go to work on that Monday, and we did. We got back under the weights and uh, went to work. And again, you lose your weight sometimes during that whole off season, but these kids didn't. You know, they just went to work and believed and wanted to get better and get back here. It's a long road, a long climb. It's tough. Climb top of that mountain. Tonight, there was two teams there. We were the last one standing. It's a great feeling. It's our third state championship here at Maine. So glad to do it with this group. This group's been four state championships in a row, winning two. That's tough. It's tough to do on any level. High school kids choosing to follow a cranky man like me and believe and go to work every day. And I just love them. I'm so proud of them. Thankful. You know, they deserve to be champions tonight. Questions? Well, crazy year, change of divisions and stuff, uh, week two, and all of a sudden, people doubt, you know, oh, you got to have to play 3A teams, I'm just, this team just never, never flinched, they were like, well, let's bring it on, let's go, and it was fun, it was exciting, it was new, and we kind of looked at it, we knew Union was there, we knew that they would probably be there, uh, great program they have there, they're physical, they're tough, you must fight them for four fours and not blink, and, and we did that, so it's very satisfying to win, but to win over a good union program. Question. Question for Jeremiah, head coach. Jeremiah, I mean, who, who is this? You have to feel like you've been waiting on this with this guy. Yeah, I'm going to start with the past few, Jeremiah. We knew what he was all along. He was a starter for us last year, opposite of uh, London Williams. He's been that guy. He got nicked up a little bit earlier in the season, but I mean, he came out tonight really to kind of show himself to the whole state of Louisiana. He got, we, we like to call him dirty yards. Large yards aren't there. You have to fight for it. I was real proud of that. What you say, Jeremiah? Man, it felt great to be coming out like that. And knowing I had my team on my back, I had to go tough yards to, and score a touchdown for the last play. This was for Tyler. Uh, this game was going back and forth in that fourth spot. I think it really gave you all the momentum the rest of the night. What did you do that play and then how did you put things uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a great play. It was just, I, was, I was on the edge and it was a, it was a other cornerback right there. He was playing all. He was giving a little bit too much uh, leverage right there. And as soon as he caught it, he didn't see me coming. It was just a blind shot right there. He pulled me. It was just it was amazing after I got it. Oh, it's like talking about it. which one of my kids is my favorite. You know, that's a tough one. They're all special, all different, all unique. This group's been very talented, very deep. Uh, we've set records. I think we came in the game with only allowing 225 yards of rushing to come into the game all season. That's crazy. Those are crazy numbers. And, uh, you know, just this is a special, talented team. And I, and I, I love them all. They're, but the thing is, for them to be really – on that level with 14 and 20, you got to validate yourself out here on the stage, on the lights, and they did that tonight. So they take places with those two great many teams. Question. This is Tackett. Thank you. Uh, graduating next week, uh, moving on to USC. How do you feel about that uh, going forward, and how long will you enjoy tonight's game before you start turning your mind forward? Yeah, I mean, this has just been with my dream since, <coughs> since I was going to high school football with me. Wednesday and doing it my senior year, my last year with these guys, and just finishing the legacy I'm proud of me. I remember last year losing and you know, I got one more year, I can come back and, and win, win it this last year. And all of my work through the summer, I mean it was it was on all of our minds, just just coming in and winning it under the dome lights. We won it last year, the last time was at NSU, and so we wanted to, to validate ourselves and, and prove how good the team were and win it in the dome. And so I thought it was just a great feeling. It's like a dream come true. For the last couple of weeks, talk about the last couple of weeks, and especially tonight against our physical union Harris team. Absolutely, I'm glad you asked that question because uh, you know a couple of weeks ago you know, we go into this new set and you have a pie. After playing the district, we had like four straight running clocks. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of lose your edge a little bit there. You know, it's good to have the pie, but you know you dealt with your dealt with and you have to deal with it. And, uh, you know, we played a stinker of a game for Rosemont, but we found a way. You know, people kind of got off our bandwagon, and that's okay too. Uh, you know, because it really got us awake. You know, uh, here comes St. James to our place, great pro, talented. And, uh, you know, everybody all of a sudden, you know, you've been ranked number one all year, voted number one, all of a sudden everybody says that we suck. And, uh, uh, you know, that's, hey, it's good. We used it. We kind of rattled our cage a little bit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's the thing about these guys. It woke them up. And they got 
forum and started started playing any football. Last week was beautiful. I mean, it was beautiful. Then we came out tonight against a team like Union, who tries to come out and test your manhood. You know, these guys. We look like the man, you know, state champions. Question. Two, one for so. Just what does it mean for you to be a state champion? Trent, you know, uh, after the semifinal win, to get here and you see Jeremiah perform the way he did. Just what's it mean to you, to both of you, to be state champions? Yeah, I had, I had a ton of emotion uh, through that. I mean, I feel like everybody was just doing a great job. Everybody was, was doing their job. Nobody really had to do anything special. I mean, uh, it's kind of nice to see when, when everybody works as hard as we do that it pays off. So there's just a ton of emotion going through me throughout the whole week. Man, it just feels good to see John Ryan running in the holes like that. Man, we run, we block, we just probably we run for each other. It's like go there, man. Like in, in the way it ends. These boys, they're, they're like my kids. I, I love them. They're like kind of a football family. And they're all my boys. And then you got somebody's kid to you. And, 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 you know, that's pretty sweet, too. Uh, he's kind of like our little John Rambo. You know, he doesn't show a lot of emotion. He's just, I'm going through my job. He doesn't like the line line. He wants to play. Plays hard. But the guy's going the right way. He's always in the weight room lifted uh, at night. Not for any fanfare. You know, just wants to be better. And, uh, you know, you're, you're good when your best players, like these guys, are our best workers. These are our hardest workers, and that's why we win. And, you know, he led by example. He followed the Cadillacs, the Terry Williams. the Cadillacs, the Terry Williamses. Now these guys are going to pick up what he's done. That's why we keep winning. It's not that I'm against Lombardi or Spark. These guys are good, and they, they play hard, and they keep paying it forward. And that's our secret. Our best players are our hardest workers. Yeah, that one play, I mean, that was special, and, you know, because we knew that Holly, he's the best running back in the state, you know, and we knew he was going to make plays, and, you know, he didn't want to go down wide, and that big play there was trouble. We needed to tackle and make them go and burn some clock, and it was a great play by Tyler not with not being able to make the play. That's kind of what we preach around here, find a way to make them snap the ball again. This number here is a I know that as soon as this night is over, man, I know you got to work time with Jeremiah, Coach Curtis. So talk to me about how you're going to put this pain. I know that you're already thinking about next year. Just talk to me about that and how we're going to that. We are going to celebrate this win. I promise you that. <laughs> we're going to order the biggest breeze when we can. And we're going to be happy about it because it's so dang hard to get here number one and then win it. But then you're right. And then we're going to put it away. We're going to put the trophy in the trophy case. And we're going to go back to work and try to defend it. You know, we've done great about getting back after we won it. But what about going back to back? You know, you start talking about that. I'm already throwing that out there to them. You know, but, you know, that's the thing. You want to push it all over forward. And you never rest. You never stay the same. You never get better. Get better. Get worse. And so we're going to take that mantra into the off season. We're going to try to go win another one. Question. Uh, I think uh, the final stats are, are a full part of the game. <laughs> our team loves wearing all black. It's kind of our mantra. We're physical. We like to wear all black. And I like wearing all black. That's what we wore on the lane. But something about those red jerseys, white pants. We, were, we haven't lost them in a long time. The last time we wore them, I just kind of kind of got that feeling in my head about Wednesday that we're going to go back out there and then try to make it to the road and the red and white. Some of the upperclassmen want to kind of do it as well. So. We probably made a lot of the fan base mad, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> we won and we're 2 0 in the red. Are we wearing red jerseys or how did they go for your week? I want to go ahead and say this. Everybody's kind of against the red jerseys. I was the first one to tell them, I was like, let's go for red and white. I mean, we've been wearing black like every week in the playoffs. I was like, last year we wore the red and white, and I was like, this is really red and white. So I kind of got in my head and just started thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, I went on black. <laughs> 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 Next year, I'll be as gone. <laughs> yeah, me too. Happy one with all black. I guess there we go. We make it back with all black. <laughs> nah, I went red, white, just nice. Uh, Jeremiah, Coach Curtis, 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 Coach Curtis
uh, Bob's uh, footsteps of uh, turn tap. And it just feels unreal. And it just feels unreal going out on top, just like my brother. It's just an unreal feeling. So it definitely feels like a dream. I'm going to do this the rest of my life. So it's been awesome being able to play your band and read really this legacy. Nothing will carry on. Carry on, right? Man, just feel great to be able to come with that championship. And Coach Jason, he really pushed me to be a great man. All three of my years. And we got one more year left for another day championship. Coach, you have a final word. I uh, just appreciate the uh, media for covering us. Uh, you guys have done a great job. Alexander just report. Appreciate you guys getting my, my word out there. Sam, all you guys coming our games. I uh, just appreciate that. That helps get us, get my program out there and the kids noticed. And it means the world to us. All you guys that come and came to many games this year and, and put my boys' name out there. I appreciate that. It means a lot to us, everyone. Thank you. Many high school, stay checked.